गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज आवर फर्स्ट क्लास फॉर द बायोलॉजी फॉर द क्लास नाइन्थ दिस इज द फर्स्ट क्लास फर्स्ट चैप्टर एंड फर्स्ट टॉपिक दो इट इज द फर्स्ट टॉपिक ऑफ योर चैप्टर फॉर द क्लास नाइन्थ बट आई डोंट थिंक दैट यू डोंट हैव एनी आइडिया अबाउट दिस टॉपिक और सब दिस चैप्टर द फर्स्ट चैप्टर इज अ सेल सी एल एल सेल what is the basic uh, definition of the cells what is cell actually you may ask this question what is cell actually to make you understand what is the meaning of the cell and what how the cell perform their activities what is cell imagine a building or a wall it consists of the bricks then cement then uh, it is sand is there then many things other important components are there but without a brick matlab eeta jisko hum log bolte hain wo bina eeta ka it cannot form some shapes it cannot give some structures iska matlab eeta humko chahiye us deewal ya ghar banane ke liye structure ka the cell almost almost same have the it cell has the same function and structure cell actually is the smallest unit smallest unit we can cell cell is the smallest unit it is structure and function in terms of structure and function the cell is the smallest structure and function of our body now next question comes that how it forms performs our activities there is a around 8 to 9 crore of the cells a matured body has means a human body if it is a matured it is adult average size is there then tentative there is a 8 to 9 crore of the cells are there in their body it is estimated it is not actual now if one cell we study a structure of the cell a function of the cell then you will understand how our body consists of because the group of cell form the tissue then similar formation there is a collection of the tissue which leads to the function uh, structure of the organ then organ makes the system then system makes the body so the cell is the is the smallest unit of the structural and functional of the human or the any animal or any creatures of the living organism now let us take you there are the two types of cells we can study one is a prokaryotes another is a eukaryotes you need to study prokaryotes means a primitive cell when it is it is believed that when the earth was formed the first creature was formed was a prokaryotic cells then as the time goes on the complex animal comes in the existence and then there is a formation of the um, uh, eukaryotic cells now let us take the there are the two types of cells other than the eukaryotes and prokaryotes one is a animal cells another is a plant cell now if i consider the animal cell because today we are going to study the animal cells what is animal cells that is definitely it is the basic it is a smallest structural and functional unit of the animals now how the structure is i will show you in the board if you see the structure of this you can even refer to your books the cell is almost almost there is a circular or spherical shape the cells has got we generally believe that there we study with that because different types of cells are there but we definitely for your uh, convenience we make the structure of the cells for the animals is like that only this animal cells consist of the protoplasm you will hear that protoplasm then come cytoplasm then nucleoplasm you may ask that what is the meaning of the protoplasm what is the nucleoplasm what is the uh, cytoplasm if you take the animal cells or the plant cells the plant cell or animal cell since we are studying the animal cell i will confine to the animal cell only the animal cell is a outer covering is known as the 
as I have mentioned, the plasma membrane. It is means it is the outermost covering that is known as a plasma membrane. As here it is, plasma membrane. You are seeing that this is the outer covering as a plasma membrane, right? In the center, there is a, another circular or spherical structure which is known as a nucleus, and inside inside this pl plasma membrane inter cell is contained with a jelly like substance which is known as a which is known as a jelly like substance is a plasm means jelly like structure is a plasm and now question is the plasm is jelly like then what is a protoplasm we can say the entire content that the plasm is known as a protoplasm and the jelly like substance which is contained within the nucleus means jelly like substance which is contained within here here inside the nucleus is a nucleoplasm the entire uh, this portion which is con which is filled with the jelly like substance is known as a cytoplasm and put together cytoplasm and nucleoplasm is called as a protoplasm these are the entire uh, that is a semi solid structures and there is a many organs in the cell the organs are known as organelles so what are the organelles first is the endoplasmic reticulum then comes the golgi body then comes the mitochondria then comes here is a lysosome then is a ribosome then is a centriole then it is nucleus then is a chromatin and then is a plasma membrane you just make this structure roughly on your page and refer to your book so we can explain one by one first you see that nucleus is in the center right inside the nucleus there is a nucleolus small another spot is there in the nucleus and there is a thread like structure which is known as a chromatin endoplasm reticulum is a channel like structure inside the cell right inside the cell golgi body is a sac like structure it has got its own functions and then comes the mitochondria mitochondria is also known as a powerhouse the details will i will explain in later then is a plasma membrane it is a it is a semi permeable membrane it allows only certain things to go out or go in then it comes to the centriole these are the another organelles it has got the main role in the very important roles then it is a ribosome and then is a lysosome lysosome is also known as a the suicidal bag this much i will request that you just go through your book to prepare this structure so in our next class i can take through that the structure of the animal cells and then further the structure of the plant cell but before that i request you you practice at least once or twice the structure of the cells and what are the organelles that will help you okay see you meet you in the next class thank you